Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for watching, first thing I guess. And thank you to everyone who subscribed. We are in the middle of a move and I'm not quite sure where I left off with the video vlogging before, so I'm just gonna start with what's happening now for you. How's that? <laughs> um, trying something a little different with the background here. I just wanted to kind of give you a little something in the background. Plus I need the tranquility and zen kind of thing. So, um, what's happening? We have had to move. Down here in New Brunswick, it's gotten a little weird. Not that it wasn't before, but it is now. And it's only weird to me because I'm originally from Ontario where I love it and I want to go home so badly. But anyway, Doug Ford aside though, we'll see what he does. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. He's curious. He actually only just came out because I am home and talking. He's very, very put out by the move. Um, never moved before in his little tiny life. What's going on? Let's see. I got myself pretty clear, naturally, without a doctor. Imagine that. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. With, it, with Dr. Axe, some suggestions from him and doing my own research. What I started doing was I have a one quart bowl. Let's see if I can get that in there. See, one quart. Um, don't ask me what that is in any other increment. I'm not good with that stuff. Um, but anyway, just a little bowl. See, it's not that big. It's just big enough to put my whole face in. I put my face in that, um, every morning, every night. To it, I add warm water. Not hot scalding, not ice cold. Um, I can't seem to take that, but, um, I put a little bit of coconut oil. I put tea tree, um, one drop of tea tree oil and about, I'd say about a half a teaspoon of Epsom salt when I'm really swollen. Otherwise, I leave that out, do it morning and night, just soak my face in that. And that's what I, I did. I got the rest of me pretty clear. I started using a different Aveeno because the other one stopped working. And it's this one, um, Aveeno Intense Repair. Not a commercial for them, but that's what I'm using. Just, or no, Aveeno Active N ah. <laughs> Avino Actrov Naturals Intensive Relief, and this stuff helps. Man, it helps. Um, although it's my skin starting to kind of reject it when it's super bad, like right now. Um, as you can tell, I am swollen. My neck is swollen, and all down, if you can see it, all down in here is swelled, and I can feel it underneath. Last night was super bad, and the day before, it's almost like the neck is swelling so much underneath it, it's like it's trying to bust out it hurts oh my god it's painful even to the point that on the inside i feel the constricting as well not fun and then with the swelling in my face that went up this weekend because of course it had to be bright and sunny um two days uh, in a row of that the friday was nice like today i'll show you today is Ta-da! Not a great day. Um, hopefully I can get your back in frame now. Ah! There you go. Um, there we are. Okay. Um, today's great weather. This little baby vampire can come out, um, as we call me, and I don't need to wrap up my head in a headscarf. Um, I'll insert a little video of what I look like I recorded for you when I go out. Like I said, we had to move, and um, because what's happening down here is that they've suddenly decided, um, not decided, but discovered, there are people moving to New Brunswick. Um, crazy people, like we did, only we moved for family. Yes, New Brunswick's beautiful. Yes, New Brunswick is, uh, you know, on the coast, blah, blah, blah. Nice place to visit. Don't move here. Anyhow. Uh, moving right along. Yeah, we, with the people coming in, now they've cottoned on to, hey, more people means more rental units, blah, blah, blah. There is no rental protection down here, as I see it in my humble opinion. They have something called a tenants association. I don't know, maybe it works and it's just something that I haven't experienced yet. So that's possible. But anyway, all the rents have gone up. So our rental unit went up and that's a big jump. 
and I know everyone's screaming, they can't mend it up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they can, um, because of New Brunswick laws down here. And they can do it not once, but as many times as they want, apparently, in the year. Did not know that. Now we do, live and learn. And we had to move to this place, which is much cheaper. Oh my gosh, it's going to save us a ton of money a month. Um, so we had to do it, no ifs, no ands, no buts. And of course, that wouldn't be good for my health. So, uh, knowing that, I prepared. I sought the turmeric, rosemary, ginger, the tea tree oil, the coconut oil, um, both eating it and putting it on my body. Actually able to put it all over my body. The weird thing was before I wasn't able to take the coconut oil itself and rub it in after my bath. Sorry, I was only able to put it into my bath and have it soak in that way with the water. I don't know why. Bodies are strange. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Just the way it worked. And uh, now I can. Weird. Don't know. But when I'm bad like I am now, like look at this hand. Let's see if I can get a close up. See this hand? These are hives from yesterday and Saturday. Um, somewhere along the line, my gloves. Can you see that? Um, let's see if it'll focus. Maybe I'm too close. I don't know, maybe you can see it there. Um, and this is swollen, and my fingers are swelled. Um, not so bad right now, um, but they were basically little sausages. Um, and all up my arm was how bad. Here is now I gouged this in the middle of the night because of the pain. Um, the gouging, um, really like scratch, dig, try to put as much pressure on it as I can. I literally will just like take my fingers and squish, like squish, like put almost like acupuncture, but without the acupuncture pressure points. Think of it as a, my version of a shiatsu massage, I guess. Anyway, um, look at this. Mm. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, now that, the only reason it's like that is because of the swelling that was going on. Um, and it happens. Here's the other wrist. Again, hives from driving. Um, and the other elbow. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah, I did that. Here's my neck. Mm. Which is really sore. Can you see that? And this, see how the swelling? Oh my gosh, ow, 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 that hurts. But wherever there's pain, I will simply press, keep it there, and then release. Now you have little lymph nodes up here. Is, ah, turning my neck is not a good thing. Um, here, under the ears, and they are swollen very hard right now. Um, anyway, um, those I seem to like, I just kind of press and rub. And I do a little, a little bit of a lymph node drain. But with the, um, with the sunlight, the backs of my ears, literally where your ear attaches to your head, um, that has cracked open. I haven't had that since I was a little wee tiny kid. Um, I remember that, having that when I was little. Um, that hurts like, you know what. Um, anyway, um, trying to put some stuff on that. Dr. Korskaden had given me Fucodin for my legs, which are super bad, but they're getting better. It was actually the coconut oil and everything when I started mega dosing on the turmeric. Turmeric, cannot say that. And it has something in it called curcumin. And curcumin is, it's, it's amazing. I'll do a video on that itself because there's just so much of it. But it's great for skin, put it that way. I mean, this stuff here is great. Um, I find it puts a film on your on your skin, which is okay. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that probably acts as a barrier between your skin and, and the outside world and stuff like that. But that is... Uh, not always something that I can tolerate, especially when it's all inflamed and bad as it is now. So that there isn't um, always the best option. Ginger is another thing I've been really experimenting with. Fresh ginger, not powdered, only because it's easier to get fresh ginger in our location right now. And it's amazing 
um, the differences that I'm feeling. Ginger helps the curcumin in the turmeric to absorb into your body better, as do the avocados. Um, I've been having avocados daily, one a day at least. Um, love them, along with my um, aloe juice and fruit smoothies. Uh, switch to almond milk and um, fruit. Made the smoothies out of those. Absolutely great. Um, I make my own teas, herbal teas, um, out of these ingredients as well as a few others um, that are known to good for allergies because of moving with the dust. I'm treating the photosensitivity as an allergy almost because literally it's the only way I can explain it to anybody down here so they understand. Um, and even then they don't really understand that. Um, I keep getting, oh, just go out in the, just, just go out in the sun and get some sun and some fresh air, go for a walk. No, I can't do that stuff. This driving my daughter to and from work is actually the pain I'm in, um, doing it. And the pain comes from the inflammation causing the skin to break out. If I, if it stays weather like it is today, no sun the fog down here is crazy. Um, it's <laughs> thick as pea soup here. And there's a, co a bunch of complexes where we are now. And I can only see one complex over. <laughs> what? And there's a bunch of them. Um, I should be able to see the next building, but I'm not. It's just rolling in off, off the ocean. Um, I'm not sure if environmentally this area might be so great for me, but... Um, Anyway, it's what we have to deal with. If this weather stays like this and there's no sun, it is perfect for me. I know it's not perfect for everybody else, especially those who need a lot of uh, sun to uh, battle depression and the whole bit. And as a, as a continent, North America is habitually uh, vitamin D deficient. So pop those vitamin Ds, people. Better yet, eat the foods that are high in vitamin D. But for me, uh, I have discovered through some recent blood work, the hospital uh, forward to me any and all reports of any time I, I come into the hospital, any tests, anything that's done um, on my behalf, that comes directly to me, a copy of that report. So whether it's an ER doctor sending it, it's an ER visit, or um, it's the clinic, um, I get those reports. We did have a doctor we got a call from the list saying, hey, yeah, we got a female doctor. She wants you to uh, go in. Great. We thought it would be absolutely wonderful when we finally, after five years, got a doctor, went in to see her. Uh, the first two visits were okay. I mean, the first visit was a, hi, how you doing? Let me see, get your history, plus blood work from that visit, um, which is the normal panel, right? Not, not looking into anything. It's just seeing where your levels are at, blah, 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 blah. So they have a baseline to go by. However, on the third visit, I had an ER visit. I've been getting a lot of chest pains, a lot of the nerve pains. You remember me telling you about the chilly pains that I get? Um, basically, it's like somebody's poured cold water all over me, but it's, it's like more electrical. So it's obviously a nerve damage. Um, or sorry, not nerve damage, but a nerve pain. And uh, Dr. Tr what is his name? Todd Troy or Troy Todd. Um, met him in the ER and he said the type of pain I was describing was pretty much um, it, it was definitely neurological consistent with lupus great that's what it is so if anybody out there has lupus and they know what I'm talking about <laughs> that's it and if you don't well just try to imagine I guess um, kind of like when you stick your finger in a light socket and you get that zap and it goes right up your arm yeah well this is all over your body and it hurts like heck and it's almost like it's directly under the skin and your skin is is emitting the electricity um, but like thousands of volts it hurts and there's nothing I can do but sit and shake and clench my fists and most times I start crying because it's bad um, you know so they're rocking breathing do that in through the nose out through the brow in through the nose Try and meditate, um, and there are times that I can't do that, and then we're off to the emergency room. The uh, third visit, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with her. It was after I had been in twice, yes, twice in the same week to the emergency room. 
Um, the first time um, I had a major migraine, I'd be getting migraines for, well, I, I've, I'm a huge migraine sufferer since I was, geez, seven. It runs in the family. Thanks, Mom. Uh, <laughs> and uh, not her fault. It's just genetics. And the third visit was a nightmare causing me to fire her. Really, the health system has turned it more into a business as such, um, as opposed to a patient. Um, and as such, they are in business and need to know customer service and good customer service skills. Being a doctor, they should actually know good bedside manner, be kind, that kind of thing. So on to the tests. Um, basically showed I'm extremely low in B12, um, iron, and all that good stuff. Um, I have been actually for for about, I'd say 12 years uh, was when that was first found, roughly. So um, I'm back on the B12 vitamins and iron as well for myself and eating more foods containing B12. Now, the foods that contain B12 are mostly animal. And as you know, I've gone vegetarian because I can't process a lot of meat so we're starting things off slowly, um, integrating a few pieces of meat into the mix. Starting with pork, because I usually could tolerate that, and we found a place here that does their own butchering, and it's fabulous for prices. Um, so when we can afford it, um, we get a couple of pork chops or something. Um, tried that last week, and a little, little bitty, 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 bitty piece. It went okay. Um, set off the whole um, Crohn's thing uh, a little bit, but not majorly, so that was encouraging. But we found some B12 vitamins at the dollar store, <laughs> of all places. Probably not the best quality, but hey, it's all we could muster at the time. I'm on two of those a day, um, just till I can get it sorted out. And what I'll do is um, do it for a couple of months, maybe two, three months and then go in and ask um, the clinic to run some tests. Now we did test the thyroid, the TSH, and yes, um, that is low. <laughs> so not great there, um, but that's okay. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do with that one at the moment. I mean, I'm already taking the ashwagandha, which ashwagandha is a type of mushroom and it helps the thyroid to level out. So if you're too high in thyroid, it will bring you down to normal. If you're too low, 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 low then um, it'll bring it up to normal levels. Um, one of the problems with thyroid is that they put you on something called, I think it's th syn Synthroid, um, which is what my daughter's on right now. Her thyroid is very, very low. Um, Last June, she was a 9.9, .9 and they refused to treat her. Imagine that, at the emergency room. In Canada, that's illegal. However, um, she is now at a uh, 4.9, and I have been treating her with ashwagandha since June. It is now, what is it now? April, it's, it's April now. Um, I had some April. Um, so, <laughs> so, uh, the ashwagandha has actually brought her down. And we started her eating some more uh, red meats and things like that. Um, I mean, I'm vegetarian, doesn't mean she has to be, right? So, I, I, I'll even, I even cook the, the meals for her. I love cooking for people. So that's where I'm at with the whole B12, Fortin, iron, thyroid thing. Um, from looking at the levels in the blood work myself. Um, it could be a case of pernicious anemia, but I'm kind of holding that one back for a bit um, to see if I can't bring the B12 up. Seeing as it's been so long, the nerve damage could possibly be from the B12 being low for so long. Um, see, the North American guidelines, the levels, the norms, um, don't fit in with the same levels as in Europe and Asia and things like that. Now, North Americans are known for being, let's see, magnesium, vitamin D, and B12 low. Now, I'm in Canada, 
I discovered in my little research foray into research, um, Canada has stopped um, not to be so concerned with people's B12. Hmm. See, the problem is they test a small fraction of uh, people uh, to see where their levels might be and figure out the norms from there. The problem being, if you're testing a portion of the population who's already low and you know is habitually always, thank you, ouch, um, habitually low in these things, and then you try to find the norms from there, your, your norms are going to be low. So the people aren't actually where they need to be. Um, so what I do is, it, for myself, I'm following the European and Asian guidelines. Because over there, they're not known for being low in any of those things. Um, at least that I've found... Oh, sorry, the swelling is starting here with the... And it's, it's just driving me nuts. Um, they're not known for being low in these vitamins and things that I've found so far. And it's much higher. Uh, TSH for the thyroid, for instance. Um, I believe low for them is... What was it now? 600s? Something like that. And North America, at least for the Canadian one, low is at four. And um, that is a huge difference. So I'm following their guidelines for vitamins, minerals, and where the norm should be. If they're testing the populations there who are known for, known for having higher levels, those levels are more likely to be more normal. Because in the evolution of people, we went from Africa on out to Asia, Eurasia, Europe, and of course, over to North America. We were the last. Sorry to break it to you, but hey, that's just the way it was. So that makes more sense to me. And there are actually a few doctors out there who do agree. And it was in finding their research that I actually came to that conclusion myself, went, yeah, you know what? You're right. I don't know if North America is just sort of some sort of test, see how badly you can screw up a population, but <laughs> it seems to be. Um, I'm gonna move to Europe. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, and now I'm having to do this whole, because of where we're at now, um, physically within the city, I have to drive my daughter to work and, f and, and home from work. There is a bus stop here that goes to her work, but it's an hour and 45 minutes for the kid to get to work and an hour and 45 minutes to get back. Not to mention four bus exchanges not easy in this in this area and it goes into some pretty skeezy areas um or skeezy or i should say um areas of the city and um i don't want her there um being a, a female on her own um not great so um we're trying this we're trying to get a um film which is a uv film you, i don't know if you know about them but you can put them on glass um, we have to get more for the windows here, but you can put them on the windows and it will block up to 98, 99% of the UV from the outside, which is great. I need those because um, my face won't feel like it feels. Oh my God. I look nothing like I, I feel. Anyway, but yeah, um, we got to get that for the for this car as well. We had it on the last one. We don't on this one, um, but it's not an expense we can really afford right now. Car would be number one because for me driving, of course, I don't know what I'm going to do in the days when I can't walk again but we'll go one step at a time so for now i'm doing what i can sucking up the pain and trying to get her to and from work as much as possible i can't take tylenol and advil that's a new development i took for the migraines the run of migraines i was getting they took me into the hospital because i was not only getting migraines but i was also getting chest pains angina stroke heart attack TIAs, they all run in my family, both sides. And I've had TIAs before, and I'm leaning more towards unstable angina myself, just in my own research. Doctors don't like to hear, don't like you coming in saying, um, I think it's this, here's why, and giving them the research and where you've gotten the research. Now, I don't go anywhere and everywhere. I don't just go, oh, well, hey, um, WebMD says this. Not usually. <clears throat> Some minor things I might. Um, but if, if I can find it in Harvard Medical, Stanford Medical, Oxford, Asia, um, there you've got some great medical from Asia and India, some research 
UK, well, Oxford, <laughs> UK. Yeah, um, I get them from those sources. I just don't go willy-nilly and say, oh, well, uh, Joe Brown's website. And I don't think they're used to that, to actually go and, and research this and can look at it in sort of, um, is nonpartisan the word that I'm looking for? A practical, unemotional approach to it. I'm Aquarius, we're good at that. Taking more intellectual stance in your own health. I think everybody around the world is going to have to start doing that um, and using their brain and their own judgment for their health, really. Um, because Western medicine has really let me down and I can see it. It's a young medicine, but I can see that it is not where it should be. It's growing, don't get me wrong. Um, and for those of you who are saying, oh, I can just hear you now. Oh, that's a dangerous statement to make. Well, you know what? Um, so are doctors who think they're gods, who think they don't have to treat people nicely and uh, think they know everything when they're making mistakes themselves. I'm sorry. Um, that's just the way I see it. That's my humble opinion. If you don't agree, I respect your right to disagree with that. Don't be making comments that are derogatory because I'm just not going to listen. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> which actually sounds kind of bitchy, but, um, and I, I do apologize, but everybody's got a right to their own opinion. That is mine. Western medicine is a failure. Ayurvedic, Chinese medicines, herbalism, naturopath, homeopathic, druidic, natural medicines have been around since the dawn of time. And hey, population is exploding, so we certainly did something right along the way. Western medicine's only been around for, what, about 100 years? You do the math. Anyway, that's just where I stand. So I'm going to be treating myself for what I find and keeping you up to date. I'm going to do a few videos too that are specific once we get the kitchen area settled. <laughs> um, ah, so much to do. Um, I'm going to get that settled and then start doing some videos on turmeric, curcumin, like a whole bunch of things and everything I'm doing it, why I'm doing it and the basis behind it. So you can actually see the reasoning um, because I think a general vlogging video each day isn't going to give you the basis behind my research. Certainly not in this setup because I don't have access to the information that I can, you know, have the monitor there with the information that why I'm doing turmeric, why I'm doing rosemary, why I'm doing aloe uh, juice, um, things like that. Um, but I will do that, I promise, because now I'm going to be vlogging every day so you can see my, my um, progression, as it were. So, I hope that you found something interesting in this and um, if you like this video please subscribe please follow me here I do have a blog as well um, it's over on blogger which is attached to Google I'm not sure if I'm staying there or not but the link is in the description below um, as is the subscribe button somewhere around here and um, hit that hit the bell um, so that you can be alerted to when I upload my videos each day so yeah, there you go. Um, this has been kind of a little bit of a run on, so I'm going to try and clip this down a bit for you. But I uh, hope you like these things uh, that I'm bringing to you. It's just basically me and this is what's going on with my health and this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I just want to get better. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyway, mwah. have a great day. Hope you're feeling good. And if you're not feeling good, Lots of hugs and love going your way um, and good vibrations and going to you from me, from my heart to you um, to hopefully give you a little bit of a bright time in your day, <laughs> something to make you smile at least. Anyway, bye all. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. The curcumin um, helps the turmeric, uh, the, no, it's curcumin, the, uh, what's going on? We, <laughs> no, hang on one sec. Hi, go away. Down you go. Majorly, um, cat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Um, but, uh, I've been trying, um, where was I at with that? Oh, the, and uh, anyway, um, for a long time, I, my laundry's done. Hang on one sec. I have to go grab the cat.